Hello everybody. Welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about fundamentals of COM or some of the key things you should be knowing about COM. So let's first see what are the virtual function tables. So any language uh, which supports function call via a pointer can be used to write COM components. So basically COM has a standard way to put virtual function tables in memory and uh, these virtual function tables basically store the function pointers uh, which are used at runtime to call functions uh, through these pointers. So here you can see uh, that a client uh, can use uh, a COM component through its uh, vtable pointer and that vtable pointer points to a vtable and that vtable has a pointer to various functions like f1, f2, f3 etc. So uh, this is uh, one of the things uh, you should be knowing about COM. Uh, the another important thing is uh, in interfaces and I unknown interface. So basically COM components always interact with each other through interfaces which are nothing but a group of functions and not components or classes. COM components never have direct access to the object's data. They can only interact through the interfaces. I unknown is uh, another uh, or a very basic interface uh, which is implemented by all COM components. Uh, which provides functionality to uh, query interface then adding and deleting references so we would be seeing this adding and deleting references in detail uh, in a bit later slide uh, and we, the clients use uh, query interface method <coughs> to request the interface uh, available with com components so here you can see that uh, different components have a different kind of interfaces and the query interface method is used to uh, check the uh, or to request the available interface. Uh, the next is uh, called as GUIDs. So GUIDs are basically the 128 bit integers um, that are guaranteed to be unique uh, across the universe and they are used to identify every COM interface or every COM class. Uh, so for every COM interface and class uh, you will be having a GUID and Microsoft supplies a tool called as UUIDGen.exe which you can use to generate these kind of GUIDs. Uh, so reference counting as we discussed earlier uh, com components are reference counted through add ref and release functions that we already uh, saw in a bit uh, so add ref method is called when another com component is using the interface and release method is used when um, other component no longer requires the uh, use of that interface or you can see a component so the com component will rem be remaining in memory until reference count is non-zero and the reference count when the count uh, reference count becomes zero com component can unload itself so the final and important thing is loading and unloading of uh, com components in the memory so microsoft uh, microsoft basically provides a com library uh, which is uh, as a part of uh, windows operating system and it facilitates loading and unloading of com components and <coughs> it also helps you to for connections between the load loaded components so com library is nothing but a set of dlls and exes uh, which help you provide a mechanism uh, for creation of com components then remote procedural calls uh, for dcom uh, and memory management etc et so com library has a lot of functionality uh, that it provides uh, so when an application wants to use a com component com library uses uh, class ids uh, to look up for com component uh, then com, com application uses this com component using uh, query interface. Uh, it it uh, queries the uh, available interfaces and makes use of it. And uh, like a com component could be either an exe or dll. Uh, so here you would be doing an add reference. And when the services of the component are no longer required, uh, you can unload that com component or you can say release. So that's how your reference counting is completed. So these are basically the five uh, key things or five fundamentals of COM that you should be knowing. So we saw about uh, loading and unloading of COM components. We saw how the reference counting is done. We saw what are bits. Uh, we saw what are interfaces and I know interfaces. I know interface is. And we saw uh, what are the virtual function tables and how they are used in COM. So thanks for watching and hope this helps.